Believe it or not, not everybody in the world speaks your language. In order to thrive in a global marketplace, not only is it crucial to communicate important product information in an understandable format, it's a regulatory requirement. When it comes to medical devices, manufacturers are required to include specific product guidelines, handling procedures, and other vital product safety information. This is where symbols come into play. There's a very familiar saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. This holds true in the medical device industry. In fact, a picture is worth more than words, it's worth money. There's a significant expense involved in translating text. In the EU alone, there are over 20 official languages. Plus, all of those words take up valuable real estate on the label and packaging. Symbols apply to all devices in many markets worldwide and can be used on the device, on the packaging, and the instructions for use. One big problem with using symbols is sometimes they can be a little difficult to understand. For example, take a look at this one. At first glance, you probably notice the exclamation mark, so you know it's important. Beyond that though, the message is a little obscure. This is a low tire pressure warning for motor vehicles. If manufacturers were left to their own devices to come up with symbols, there would be too many to manage and the potential for misunderstanding them would be high. To avoid confusion across markets and cultures, Symbols used in medical device labeling as well as other industries have harmonized standards in different regions. In the US, for example, ISO 15223 is used, whereas EN 980 is followed in the EU. This video covers the most common medical device and IVD labeling symbols under ISO 15223 and EN 980. We'll provide an explanation as well as an example for each of them. It's important to note that this video is not intended to describe what symbols are permissible in each region. According to ISO 15223, medical device symbols are divided into seven categories. Manufacturer, storage, safe use, sterility, IVD specific, transfusion infusion, and other. Let's take a look at each of these. Manufacturing symbols represent the manufacturing information about the product. Things such as when and where it was made, as well as product identification data fall into this category. The symbol for manufacturer is a factory silhouette. It is used in the EU and includes the name of the address and the manufacturer next to it. Another symbol used in the EU, the authorized representative, also known as the EC rep. The name and the address of the authorized representative are placed next to the symbol. The date of manufacturer symbol looks similar to the manufacturer one, except it's hollow. This states the date the product was manufactured and must be expressed in a 4-2-2 date format meaning four digits for the year, two digits for the day, two digits for the month. The use by date symbol shows the product has a shelf life. This symbol must have the 422 format date as well and indicates the date by which the product must be used. The batch code symbol is an identification marker for the product. The manufacturer's batch code is placed next to this symbol. Another identifying marker is the catalog number. The manufacturer's catalog number is placed next to this symbol. The third product identifying marker is the serial number. Many medical devices have special considerations when it comes to storing them. Factors such as temperature, exposure, and humidity can have an effect on the device's performance and viability. Products prone to breaking are marked as fragile, denoting that they should be handled with care. Products affected by exposure to heat sources, like the sun, are marked with the Keep Away From Sunlight symbol. Similar to Keep Away From Sunlight, the Protect From Heat and Radioactive Sources symbol denotes the product's susceptibility to heat and radiation. If your product does not react well to water, the Keep Dry signal should be used. Temperature is another factor in proper storage of medical devices. This symbol communicates the lowest temperature at which the product should be stored. This symbol communicates the highest temperature at which the product should be stored. And finally, this symbol displays the high and low temperature limits for the product storage. The humidity limitation symbol applies to some IVDs that have specific humidity limits under which they must be kept. The atmospheric pressure limit symbol is for devices that are affected by extreme pressure situations brought on by altitude levels and other circumstances. 
Some medical devices present risk to the user. These safe use symbols act as a warning to reduce some of that risk. The biohazard symbol denotes the presence of a biological agent. You might see this on a sharps container or other devices that have contact with biological materials. Devices categorized as single use are labeled with this symbol. Sometimes a device's safety information requires more than the space provided on the label. The consult instructions for use symbol tells the user to read the included documentation. The caution symbol is used to inform users that they should take extra precautions when using the device. It also tells users that more detailed information is available within the instructions for use. Many people have an allergic reaction to latex. This symbol serves as a warning to them. Sterility symbols communicate important information pertaining to the sterile conditions of the product. This could mean how they were sterilized or warnings about conditional use. The sterile symbol means the device has been sterilized. Devices such as catheters that have been sterilized are shipped with this label. This symbol means that the method for sterilization used an antiseptic processing technique. Products that were sterilized by means of ethylene oxide are marked with this symbol. This might apply to medical devices that are not designed to withstand higher temperatures used in other sterilization processes. If the sterilization process used radiation, this symbol should be used. Labeling on devices that are sterilized using dry heat or steam are marked with this symbol. There are some devices users might try to re-sterilize but should not. Those are labeled with the Do Not Re-Sterilize symbol. This could be because the product has not been tested to withstand a re-sterilization, or re-sterilizing it could compromise the integrity of the device, or several other reasons. If the manufacturing process did not include sterilization, this symbol is used. The primary reason is to distinguish between a similar product that has to be sterilized. For example, surgical tools, which can be provided to the user in both a sterile and non-sterile condition. If your device must maintain the integrity of its packaging up until use, the Do Not Use Package If Damage symbol should be used. The Sterile Fluid Path symbol is used to indicate the presence of a sterile fluid path when the device attaches to other potentially non-sterile components. IVD symbols are specifically used on in vitro diagnostic devices and communicate information germane to those product types. The IVD symbol is used to identify in vitro diagnostic devices. There's an important distinction between IVDs and medical devices. The control symbol is used to identify devices used to verify the performance of another medical device. The negative control symbol is used to identify control material intended to verify the results in the expected negative range. The positive control symbol is used to identify control material intended to verify the results in the expected positive range. This symbol indicates the maximum number of tests that can be performed with the IVD kit. This symbol is seen on IVD devices used for investigational purposes and cannot appear on a label that has the IVD symbol as it is not intended for medical use. Transfusion and infusion symbols are used on devices that are involved in the transporting of fluids from one place to another. The sampling site symbol is used to communicate the device's use in the process of collecting and or storing blood samples. The fluid path symbol is used to identify the flow path of fluids. It can be used in conjunction with other symbols to communicate more meaningful information, such as non-pyrogenic fluid path. The non-pyrogenic symbol is used to inform that the device will not cause inflammation or induce a fever. The drops per milliliter symbol provides information to the user on the drop distribution measurement. In this example, the distribution indicated is 20 drops per milliliter. If the device distributed 50 drops per milliliter, the symbol would display the number 50. This symbol communicates the filter size in micrometers, or one millionth of a meter. The example here indicates a filter pore size of 15 micrometers, or 15 millionths of a meter. The one-way valve symbol informs users that the device is designed to only allow the flow of fluids in one direction. 
there is only one symbol that falls into the other category, the patient number. The patient number is an identification unique to a specific patient. This is used on custom-made devices such as form-fitting orthodontic products. We hope this presentation has given you a basic understanding of medical device label symbols. Would you like to learn more? We have several articles and other resources on labeling, distribution, and more available online www.emergogroup.com forward slash symbols.